This video shows you how to build a dashboard for an executive user, such as a CEO, in the vCenter Operations Manager Custom User Interface. This dashboard will provide a high-level overview of the environment. To begin the dashboard creation process, click the plus icon next to the last dashboard tab. To create a custom dashboard, click the Create Dashboard Using Widgets icon. Notice that the left pane changes to show all of the available widgets. To add a widget to the dashboard, drag it from the left pane to the right pane. Here I'm adding two heat map widgets, the health status widget, and the geo widget to the dashboard. Type a name for the new dashboard in the tab name text box. I'm accepting the default values for the remaining fields. After you click OK, you can begin to edit the new dashboard. I'm changing the layout of the dashboard so the health status widget appears at the top of the left column and the two heat map widgets are in the right column. I'm using the expand widget icon to split the screen in half with these two heat maps. The geo widget shows where your resources are located on a world map. If you install Google API key version 2, the geo widget auto populates based on the locations that you defined with geographical location tags. To group resources by location in the geo widget, you must activate the geographical location feature in vCenter Operations Manager and set values for the geographical location tags. Notice that the geo widget is already showing the health status of various data centers around the world. To configure the other widgets, click the Edit Widget icon on each widget's toolbar. First, I'm editing the Health Status widget. The Self Provider option specifies whether the widget receives data from another widget. This widget will not receive data from another widget, so I'm selecting On to indicate that it provides its own data. To show only certain resources in the widget, you can select tag values in the Select Which Tags to Filter list. I'm selecting the Engineering, Finance, Marketing, and sales applications. Click OK to save the widget configuration. Next, I'm configuring the first heat map widget. To rename the widget, type a new name in the widget title text box. The Group By drop down menu lets you group the resources in the widget. Because I want this widget to show application health, I'm grouping the resources by application. The Size by Fixed list lets you set the size of the rectangle for each resource. The Color By list lets you configure how resources are colored in the widget. I'm selecting Health Score, so resources are colored according to their health score. Here, I'm changing the colors for the heat map. You can choose colors from an extensive color palette. Because the health score range is from 0 to 100, I'm setting the minimum value to 0 and the maximum value to 100. You could also let vCenter Operations Manager select the range or determine what the range is by what it finds. To save the heat map widget configuration, click the Capture New Configuration icon and type a name for the configuration. The Select Which Tags to Filter list lets you define the resources to show in the widget. Here, I'm selecting the Engineering, Finance, and Sales applications. Since I changed the configuration when I selected the applications, I need to click the Update Selected Configuration icon to save my changes to the configuration. Next, I'm configuring the second heat map widget. Because I want this widget to show data based on lines of business, I'm selecting LOB, or Line of Business, from the Group By drop-down menu. As I did for the previous heat map widget, I'm configuring this widget to color resources according to health score, setting the minimum and maximum values to 0 and 100, and changing the colors. This health map widget will be called LOB Health. Here, I'm selecting the lines of business on which the widget will report from the Select Which Tags to Filter list. The final step is to name and save the configuration. Back on the dashboard, notice that the Health Status widget shows a timeline of health. By default, the timeline shows the past six hours of how the applications have been performing. In the lower left pane, the Geo widget shows the locations of the data centers and lines of business on a world map. In the right column, the two heat map widgets show the health of the applications and lines of business that I selected. When you build an executive user dashboard of this type, you might want to use vCenter Operations Manager's Access Rights features to limit the capabilities of its users so that they cannot drill down to the applications and components that make up the applications. For more information about creating dashboards and configuring widgets, go to pubs.vmware.com.